Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, My Study. And in this video, let's just have a focus upon another thing in a EC2 instance, Elastic Cloud Computing inside the AWS, that is a security group. So what is security group? Let's say you have some EC2 instance available like this. And in this EC2 instance, let's say you want to control some outbound traffic and inbound traffic, something like who can connect with your EC2 instance and with whom you can connect from EC2 instance, something like this is like an outside world. Let's say this is like a uh, dub dub dub. Okay, so this security group help us to define this rule that who can connect with EC2 instance and with EC2 instance what you can connect with that. Okay, so let's just formally define it's like a virtual firewall by nature. So this a security group resides something like outside of this EC2 instance and it just protect EC2 instance from many of the different kinds of unauthorized attack. So it just control incoming traffic and outgoing traffic. By default, all inbound traffic is blocked. So by default, when you create a very first time EC2 instance, no rule says inside this security group that anything from the outside world can access this thing except some few ports being allowed that is being configured while we create this EC2 instance and by default all those outbound traffic is authorized so from EC2 instance you can connect with anything okay now this rule resides outside of the security group so let's say if you just try to connect from outside world uh, to your EC2 instance via some port, let's say some 80 number port on HTTP. Let's say if you get some timeout issue, even this EC2 instance won't even recognize that request will even come here if the security group has not defined a rule to allow for HTTP traffic on port number 80. Now this relationship with the EC2 is many to many. That means uh, Let's say you have one EC2 instance. This is like another EC2 instance. And we have, let's say, uh, SG1 or I would say S1, S2. There are two security group. So with one uh, security group can be attached to both of the EC2 instance. Or let's say uh, one single uh, EC2 instance can connect with multiple security group also. Now, as I say, timeout issue indicates it's a security group issue. So when you try to connect with EC2 and something enter into kind of timeout stuff, you first try to diagnosis like whether security group allows for those rule to connect with that or not. There are some common ports, so like a 22 secure shell port when you want to log in into Linux instance, 21 for the file transfer protocol, 22 for secure file transfer protocol 80 for http 443 for https secured one and 3389 that is a remote desktop protocol when you want to log into windows instance so these are the some of the common part now how you can configure and define all those rules so let's just quickly go to aws console and earlier inside this ec2 we have already uh, one instance are currently running or I won't say running, it's in a stop state. So let me just start it or uh, even starting is required or not. But let me start it. Okay, start this instance. Okay, now when we first time created uh, this particular instance, I want to show you that which particular security group has been attached with that. So if you just go to security, you can have a look at this is the security group launch wizard 2. So this is like a complete ID for your security group. And this is the small name or I would say user friendly name being given to this security group. Now important one is what is defined in the inside this security group. So you can have a look at there are some inbound rule outbound rule inbound that means who can connect with your EC2 instance and outbound rule says that with what are the places you can connect from your EC2 instance. Okay, so uh, let me just go inside this uh, uh, one of the 
security group but before that we can even navigate to security group directly from here so i'm just going to open in another tab so uh, the wizards we have that is launch wizard 2 okay uh, there are lot of others also so i don't think that is required for now that maybe some other service might be using i don't want so i'm just simply going to delete it so enter delete so it won't create any confusion even default one let's just keep it as it is so now uh, we have a total uh, two security group if i just refresh it i can create a completely new security group also uh, let's say i will just go inside this launch wizard 2 okay so you can see these are the inbound rule so currently inbound rule says that ssh connections are allowed on 22 number port let's say inside this inbound rule i just want to add some rule uh, like uh, not just ssh but i want to let's say allow uh, some traffic uh, let's say http traffic i want to allow okay so by default this http traffic works on tcp protocol port number 80 okay source so source you can define like from where you can connect with this http so currently there are four ways you can configure it one is completely custom so when you put something like this it's like a everywhere on the internet this particular is a stider range so i'll have a detailed discussion about this stider range later on that uh, what is the concept behind this stider range so this way you can represent the range of ip address with a small single notation let's say now uh, i just want to go for some custom one okay so let's say i'll just write it something like this so this indicates that everyone see then you can put something like a custom you can put anywhere from the ipv6 base address also or you can select my ip also so that means only i will be able to connect because this particular ip belongs to me so if i just go for what is my ip i can go to any of the website there are many website provide this information so ipv4 address we are expecting here that is 49368910 and you can have a look at this is what this one see exactly same one and slash 32 indicates that this is the only ip address this way if you just go for uh, rather than 32 to 31 the range of things it will define so uh, i'm not going to detail about how you can represent this range of ip address i'll have a separate video on the top of it that how you can define those cider range so for now let me just make it like a anywhere so that 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 indicates from anywhere and for each rule you can write some description so this way we have added one rule inside the inbound rule of our security group if you just have a look at the outbound same way you can define the rules for outbound so by default you can see all the traffics are allowed to any of the places that's why we are able to access the from the uh, our ec2 instance so if i just try to connect this ec2 instance let's say uh, we'll just go ahead with the uh, instance connect instant connect okay and if i just try for let's say um, something like uh, we'll just try for ping google.com or anything like that and let's just see okay now we are able to connect it just because in our inbound rule uh, we have a 22 number ports are allowed okay so if there is no 22 number port is allowed we won't be able to connect here for now let me just go ahead with uh, something like ping google.com and you can see we are getting response that means we are able to connect to the outside world now suppose from the outside uh, outbound rule if i just remove this thing can i edit this thing uh, yeah let me remove this rule and let me save it okay now let me try with this see it's already disconnected that means uh, pinging this google.com is a way far thing even you are not able to connect to your uh, ssh instance itself because it is not able to send any packet to your local machine also so for that you require some outbound rule that all the traffic is by default allowed so let me just create those rule once again uh, let's see where is all the rule all traffic 
yeah all the traffic from any of the places let's say uh, anywhere and let me save it okay so hopefully now it's being connected and if it is not connected let me just refresh the page let me establish in the connection okay done let me try with and bang on it's working okay so now just now we have seen we are able to connect with that uh, only reason is that uh, we have a outbound rule is allowed and 22 number port as a inbound is also allowed now suppose i just want to access uh, the website which we have hosted here so uh, we have a public ip address are associated with this so where is the public ip address you can go to i guess networking ipv4 and if you just try to access httpd server you can see we are not able to access it the reason is that 80 number port yeah 80 number port is allowed but it's just trying to access the uh, secured version of it so we are interested in uh, uh, i think it's a secured one let's just try to access it uh, let me just check okay meanwhile i can even uh, go ahead and check for curl let's say local host directly from here uh, yeah it's giving us some response that means it's working but not working from this particular place okay so connection is not secure and 80 number port uh, we have already allowed actually okay so it should work that is what we are expecting okay can i try this curl from my local machine let me just check what is the error we are getting okay so so far no response but our website is uh, running fine actually okay so let's just uh, try to dissect uh, in this part because this we have seen it's working fine actually let me just uh, make sure that a correct ip address uh, we are referencing and why this uh, website is working the only reason is that uh, in if you just have a look at the details uh, there is some user data okay you can even go to uh, actions within actions we have a edit user data so we have already executed this particular script okay and because these scripts are running we are able to access it okay not possible to access let me just add a, a one more inbound rule and that will be like uh, https let's just try with https okay and that will be from anywhere okay even if it is custom that's fine let me save the rule so rules being saved let me refresh so we kept uh, one file here uh, that we can see directly from here let's say i'll just try to do cat so earlier also we tried to visit this particular place okay so index.html if i just try for index.html okay our website is not working although our security groups and everything uh, looks very fine actually for us so i guess uh, we are taking some wrong ip address so let me just uh, go to my ec2 stuff and the ip address uh, public ip address which we have taken ipv4 but we have a ec2 instance ip address is also available through which we can just simply try to connect it okay so let me just go here and bang on it's working with not secure now from the security group uh, if i just try to remove both this uh, let's say http and https let me just go inside and let's say http https both i want to remove it and if i just try to access once again you will be able to see it just uh, keep tingling but no uh, results so that means uh, it's like a timeout issue it will come under the timeout and we won't be able to access it okay so uh, there are a lot of things about this uh, security group uh, we have seen uh, now suppose uh, we have a security group like uh, this launch wizard 2 if i just try to create this new 
machine which any uh, don't want to create it i just want to show you that from this network setting you can select from the existing one also see launch wizard 2 so all the settings uh, inbound rule outbound rule you have kept inside this uh, security group that will be inherently come and attach with the security i mean to say uh, ec2 instance now what happens that with one security group you have attached with a two different machine ec2 instance that means that uh, uh, whatever rule you will be applying like inbound rule outbound rule that will be applicable to both of this instance okay so that is the case now in case you want to create the new one uh, from here only you can allow this ssh traffic https traffic http traffic there are some few one uh, customization they have given here and that is how it just going to create a new security group and uh, provide the inbound rule for this particular three stuff otherwise let's say you want to allow traffic for uh, some other uh, port so in that particular case you have to manually add such a kind of rule let's say all icmp traffic or dns tcp traffic or pop tray traffic so it's working on 8110 port so those things you have to define yourself apart from uh, creation of this security group directly from here uh, you can even uh, attach let's say uh, or you can even create this security group from here also so this way you can create this security group so very first thing they are asking to put the security name now under which virtual private cloud you are going to create that you need to select and that will be very specific to the region which you have selected in our case it's a region will be and virginia us is region here you can define this add rule that is inbound rule all those outbound rule and sub tag you want to associate it with that so this way also one can create the security group and later you can attach with the ec2 instance now suppose whatever new ec2 instance we are trying to connect or let's say some existing uh, or i'll i'll create one security group let's say uh, security group let's say two okay and nothing uh, special nothing fancy we are going to add and let me just quickly create the security group okay some description so i'll just write like sg2 only i want to show you that uh, this sg2 how you can attach with your existing instance so if i just go inside and let's say let me just go for action and let's say attach network interface detach network interface and you can see all those things let's say if i just try for network interface this is like a very different story but this way all those networking stuff also you can attach with that uh, apart from that if you just have a look at the security change the security group okay so we have sg2 add security group now you can see with our one single ec2 instance there are two security group being attached so where is security group related information being given you see security group so earlier we have just one security group attached now we have two security group being attached so here it signifies that with one ec2 instance uh, there are two security group can be attached and single uh, security group can be attached with a multiple instance also so it's like a many to many relationship how you, you can configure this inbound and outbound rule we have seen uh, how this uh, inbound and outbound rule affects the way uh, your ec2 instance communicate with the outside world now this machine i don't want for now so i'll just make it stop it's always good idea to make it stop and i guess i hope you enjoy listening this video and please do like comment on my video so that i can keep creating such a great content for you especially in aws space and please do subscribe my channel my study